So in this video, I wanted to have a look at a slightly different workflow with Vocaline, and that's particularly when you're working with audio events that could be a representative of having punched in or having comped together a performance. So in this case, our guide is already set and it's done and it's good to go. And we want to look at doing the exact same thing we did in the last videos, but in this case, instead of having a nice contiguous event here, let's say that we have a representation that comes from comps. So we could say that these were all crossfaded together and we want to go ahead and we want to add vocal line to this section over here. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, this is directly bored from Melodyne and basically what you want to do when you're working with something that's a compilation of multiple audio events that's been comped together, before you apply vocal line to the take, what you want to do is right click, we're going to go to events and we're going to go to merge events. Now I could also click the G key for a shortcut. Now what this has done is it's created an audio part, but if I open this up, you can see that I still have access to all my edits over here. So these edits still exist, but we're just viewing this as a cleaner contiguous event. It's kind of like it's been encapsulated. So whenever you're working with tracks that are a compilation of multiple events, what you want to do is definitely create an audio part before you go ahead and try to instantiate vocal line. Now let's go ahead here. I'm just going to splice this. And now we can go ahead and use our exact same workflow. We'll select both of these events, use a shortcut to edit with vocal line. And now we can go ahead and do the exact same thing we did before, where we're just dragging in our guide, selecting our dub, dragging in our dub, and everything becomes aligned. And then of course we can just select this event here and render this. And now everything is perfectly aligned. Just to back up for a quick second here, let's go ahead and wind this back a step. What I'd recommend doing any time that you're doing something like this is that I would probably use a duplicate layer because I'd want to be able to get back to these edits if I need to. So in my particular case, what I would do is I'd make a selection here on all of the events on this track, which I can do simply by shift double clicking or using shift command A as a shortcut. And then I would just go ahead to my layer here and I would just duplicate the layer. All right, so now we have a new layer. So I would work off layer two and I would leave layer one available. And then we could go ahead and use the exact same workflow clicking G to create an audio part, selecting both of these events, we'll just quickly make that cut over here, and then using vocal line to bring this up, drag in our guide, drag in our dub, everything's aligned, and then render the final result. Okay, so we've been doing drag and drop from this point. So in the next video, what I wanted to do is have a look at some optional workflows that we can have if we want to.